Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a new game here. It's a copy of Pocket Detective Season 1, a murder mystery card game by Lucky Duck Games. So I've been playing a lot of these types of games recently. They all are a little bit different from each other, but all are using deduction and finding clues to put together a story that the evidence points to, and you gotta figure out who did it. And if you've watched any of the other videos, we always do bad at these types of games because they always feel so hard and they always point towards several different suspects and then you end up finding more information towards one but then that's the wrong person then you have to find more information and it feels like it's pointing to everyone again. Well, let me say in this one, we didn't have those same problems and the game was more enjoyable to us because it was quicker and it was easier than the other. So, that might not mean that it's a better game for you. Maybe you'll think it's too easy and not enjoyable because of that. But for what we want, this one hits the spot. So the game is played solely with a deck of cards. Season one comes with three scenarios, so three different decks of cards. And in each scenario, you'll play as different types of investigators. And because of that, you will change some of the mechanics in the game, like some you will have to sneak around and not get caught by the cops while you investigate, while others you are the detective and so you have the help from all the other cops. So things change of uh, what you can do in the game. The deck is organized with letters and then with numbers within the letter sets. So the first couple cards explain how to set up the game. You have some broad information relevant to the case to get you started. Well, I shouldn't say every scenario because sometimes as part of the story, you just find a dead body and you don't have any information until you uncover it. So each scenario is a little bit different, but each will give you some options as to where you want to start your investigation. You will do this by flipping over the card listed. This might be like E4 or B1 or D8. You just follow the instruction on the cards and you can always go back to other cards that have multiple choices to further investigate something that you previously chose not to move forward with. The cards are organized by letters, so you will go to that stack and then find the number within that letter. That card might have additional information on it, it might uh, open up some leads to further investigate, or it might just be a waste of time leading you to a dead end. You can play this game either solo or with a group, but if you're playing it solo, you just make your decisions and go on and on. Your score is determined by getting the correct answer at the end of the game, but also you will count up all the cards that you used with a clock symbol, and you'll subtract some points for each of those. Each scenario also will have some other icons that can cause you to lose even more points, and it'll explain those in each scenario. Each time you choose a card to further investigate, it might also display what icons will be revealed, but sometimes it will be wrong and it will show either less icons than you anticipated or possibly more. But if you choose the right cards to flip over pertaining to key information, it might still have those negative type icons on it. They will possibly be subtracted from your score, so even though they can hurt your score, sometimes you will need to make those decisions to do it if you think you are more than likely right in that situation. Or the icon still might hurt your score, but you will have more information to still be worth your effort. If you're playing with a group, players will all talk things out, but whosever turn it is, they will ultimately be the one to choose the action of what they want to do. And players work together, taking turns, choosing what to investigate and in what order. You will keep investigating until you feel like you have enough information to make an arrest or to get an answer. If you are wrong, you will most likely negatively affect your score and you will have to also go back and change up your theory. But if you are correct, it will ask you questions and you will choose a card and flip it over with your answer. And when you are right, it will let you move on. So your goal is to find out enough that you have a theory and then you will test it and see if you can progress forward or if you need to go back and figure something else out while also worsening your overall score. The less cards, the higher your score, but with less cards, you will have less information and most likely answer the ending questions wrong. So you will need to find a balance between the two to do well in this game. 
The game, like every game, will make it seem everyone is the culprit in this game, but you will need to connect some of the odd stuff that you find and narrow things down. If you find something strange and they have an appropriate answer for it, then you probably are okay to move on, but when you don't have a good answer, then you might need to keep investigating them and stuff will eventually come out. And maybe that eventually leads you to nothing, but it might lead you to the right person. And it can give you that one crucial piece of information that you can start answering those end questions with confidence. So I like that each deck changes in how the cards work and in the way that you look for information and the way that you interact with other characters. Uh, for us, we enjoyed puzzling the story together more than a lot of other similar type games. And in doing so, we could actually feel like we got to the correct answer without just reading every single card, which would add more time to a game that should be relatively quick. So if you like the detective type murder mystery games, you will have to check this one out. So flip cards over, investigating each story with your family and friends in Pocket Detective Season 1 by Lucky Duck Games. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.